Barbara Covington hired an interventionist named Trish Massey to convince her daughter Emily to enter drug treatment. It would be the last job Ms. Massey ever took. I'm Detective Kent Harlan, Homicide Division. It's not the first time I've seen it, and sadly it won't be the last. A beautiful young girl throws her life away on drugs and a quick fix. Still, Emily was one of the lucky ones. She had a loving mother like Barbara, one that cared enough to get her the help she needed. Barbara hired an interventionist to escort her daughter to a treatment center. Only neither of them ever made it there. The interventionist was found dead in her car, still in the parking garage of the Atlanta airport. And as for Emily, well, a security camera picked her up fleeing the scene and entering the passenger side of an unknown vehicle. It's my experience an addict will do just about anything to keep from being separated from their addiction. And in Emily's case, it seems she went as far as committing murder. Amidst this tragedy, her mother seems unwavered by the facts and is confident in her daughter's innocence. The evidence is stacked against her, yet this mother's faith is unconditional. I can't help but question that I might be wrong about this one. It's really getting to me how Barbara Covington's belief in her children and God seems so unshaken. There's nothing solid about my faith in God. Let's just say we're not on speaking terms right now. I think he's forgotten about me. But lately, something tells me I might be wrong about that too.